Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new blend command in uh, Mid Journey. Now the blend command is pretty much the same as the Imagine command, but it, it's an easier interface if you want to blend uh, two or more images together. And it was designed uh, really for the mobile device to make it easier to use the image or command with multiple images basically uh, but it also makes it easier to use or blend images uh, using uh, Windows or Mac so uh, we're gonna start here and we're gonna just instead of starting with imagine we're gonna start with the the word uh, uh, slash uh, blend and you can see when we hit space instead of bringing up a prompt it gives us a choice of adding uh, two images right off. So if we click on one of these images, uh, I'm going to add uh, this one image right here. And then I can click here and I can go and I can add a second image. And for that image, let's use this. All right, now we can go over here or just click anywhere over here and just hit the arrow key and if we go over to where it says uh, plus four more it gives us a choice of adding up to three more images for a total of five or the dimensions uh, prompt and the dimensions prompt is so you can change the aspect ratio I'm gonna actually add a third image here I'm going to add these with the arches right here. So, so now we have three images, which is pretty cool. And we're going to go back over here. And let's hit the arrow to get the cursor over. So three more. And then we're going to select dimensions. And then I'm going to select landscape. It They recommend you... Um, only blend images or that you primarily blend images uh, with the same aspect ratio uh, and uh, so we're using two different aspect ratios here and uh, so so it will actually work uh, I would recommend that you use the dimensions for the aspect ratio at the end if you're using different aspect ratios in the images uh, so that you'll uh, get a little more consistent results I think by doing that but just be aware it's better if you keep the uh, the aspect ratios the same on all of the images that you're blending all right so now we've got all of this now the only problem with this particular command is that we can't kind of add the text that you would like if if you had uh, um, two images listed using the imagine prompt you could put after that a description like tell it to make it a landscape or a cityscape or whatever uh, at the end of it you can't do that with the blend mode but i'm going to show you a, a kind of a way around that so let's uh let's hit enter here and let it um do its thing All right, so it's uh, generated some images here for us, and you can see it's it's it's. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger here. You can see it's blended the two different buildings, and it's actually put this a cloaked figure in, which is from the other image. So it's blended all three images together here. All right, now we'll go back to the regular interface. Now, one if you're using this on a mobile device, the blend uh, command, be aware that you may only be able to upload an image of a certain size on discord unless you you kind of have the paid subscription to discord where it will allow you to upload um, larger images so you may have to downscale some of the images uh, from your mobile device before you upload them uh, so that's something just to be aware of all right, and so and you can actually use images that you already generated from 
uh, mid journey and you can use photographs or you could use photographs or you can blend any combination of images so you can get the images from wherever you want just as long as uh, they're not too large to upload to discord so now the trick here is once we use the blend uh, mode on this we can actually we can actually copy these files up here or this command or, or the file location so it's already uploaded the file so now we can use these uh, file locations with the imagine command so we can go ahead and paste those in and then we can hit space now we can write a, a, a full prompt so we can add in here let's just say futurist dig uh, cityscape to see how that will do and then we're going to manually put in the aspect ratio here of the landscape, which is three to two, and hit enter. So now you can see it's generated uh, four images or uh, four th kind of thumbnail images right here that we can pick from a as usual. And it's, it's actually added the futuristic cityscape here to this. So what it's done is by using blend first, and I'm using windows right now, you can actually copy these links. So it's already uploaded, uh, the images up to the discord server. So you can reference them using these links right here. And so if we go into, uh, here, you can see that it's, it's actually uh, made the scenes more futuristic. We've lost the cloak figure, although I think this is what's left of the cloak figure down here. But it's something that you can experiment with because now you, you're able to use the prompt. So that gives you a little more flexibility and it still helps you because the blend it helps upload the images for you uh, in a more simplistic way than you normally would have to do it. I'm Dean and this is Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.